Hello everyone, Daniel Kerr here. Today we're gonna to learn how to make some single cycle waveforms using any audio and Audacity, okay? Uh, Audacity is a free, uh, pl uh, free software that I've used for over a decade now. I use it for many, many utilitarian purposes. Um, I wouldn't use Audacity for um, creating electronic music, but I, I definitely, I know people who have used it to record bands and things like that using their interface multi-track. Uh, so if it does support VST usage and all that, but it's just uh, cumbersome for, for creation, I think, but it's very, very good for editing, right? So I have Audacity open, and what I'm gonna do is down here where it says selection, I'm gonna change that from seconds using the drop down menu to samples, right? And uh, you're like, well, what are samples? Samples are the tiniest increment of um, of audio in a digital environment. So you have seconds, you have milliseconds, and so on. So even though we call one big piece of um, audio a sample, it is a sample. When you break it down to its smallest pieces, you get quantized samples, which are basically snapshots of audio and uh, you have various amounts of these uh, snapshots um, in any given amount of time depending on the resolution of your sample, your sample rate, right, or, or, or your, your bit rate, or both, I don't know. Um, here's the thing, we're going to open up my, well, let's see, we're gonna open up my music here, and oh, here's a, here's a track, Shield Breach, that's something that I worked on recently, used it for some commercial work, let's hear what this sounds like. Okay, now what we're gonna do, basically we're gonna zoom in here and take a look at this thing. And you see these cycles, right? These, these cycles. Um, a single cycle will be uh, varying lengths depending on the pitch of the sample that you're taking, right? So we're not taking a true single cycle uh, and creating a waveform out of that. Um, because we're going to take a certain amount of samples, okay? And the reason why is because, for one thing, we're gonna do everything in mono, and we're gonna take 16-bit samples for these single cycle waveforms that we're creating. And the reason why is because uh, these are gonna go into my metaforming sample pack. I'll probably make 50 or, or 100 of them today or something like that. And uh, they're gonna be um, used a lot by the people who purchased my packs in the Corgi SX and the Corgi S2. Both of those use 16-bit samples. And you can use 16-bit samples in a myriad uh, of samplers and um, DAWs. But anyway, sometimes people pr prefer 24-bit samples. Uh, we're going to use 16-bit, okay? Now, when you're doing using 16-bit samples, then um, the tiniest increment, those snapshots I was talking about, if you take a sample that is exactly 674 samples long and loop it, you get an oscillator that is tuned to a perfect C, okay? And it's kind of a base, kind of a base C, but um, using a variety of different places within any audio source, you will get a variety of different types of oscillators, okay? And the, your audio source could be anything. It could be the sounds of nature, or water running over rocks, or it could be a speech of the human voice, or you could even take a section of music from your favorite artist, or even a, an artist that you loathe. You know, you could make a ton of oscillators out of some country, modern country. Anyway, uh, that's a joke. I'm going to select in here. I need to change this to mono so I don't have to do it later. I'm going to go control A, which is select all on a Mac. It's command A. I'm going to go over here to tracks, mix, mix stereo down to mono. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll out just a tad and I can see there's various types of, of um, audio here. I'm just going to select a spot. Bam. And down here at the selection, I can see that it's 874,529 samples. Um, from the start of the track. And as you can see, that's about 20 seconds in. I'm going to change this from 874.529 to, to 000. There's a bit of noise in the background. Sorry, my family just arrived home. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, so I'm going to change this from 8 to 874,000. And I'm going to click on the 5. And using my um, laptop keyboard, I'm just going to hit 000. You don't even have to move the cursor, it is now 874. So in order to get a selection that is exactly 674, it's gotta be 874, 674, okay? 
Now, as you can see, we'll, we'll zoom in. I have selected a single cycle that is that long. Now I'm going to come over here and turn on the loop and let's listen to this. Okay, it's like a bass, it's in C. We're gonna go over here to file. I'm going to export, export selected audio. And um, I'm gonna add it into my single cycle waves. We'll call it six, okay? I have a folder going. And I'm going to right click here and clear the loop, okay? So it removes the loop points. And I'm gonna scroll out, I'm gonna grab a different spot. As you can see, it's 1,015,111 samples. So I'm just gonna change the uh, last two to zero. So 1,015,100 samples. So the next one will be 1,015,764, which will give us another selection. It's exactly 674 samples. I'm gonna zoom in. There it is, okay? And this one's gonna sound just a tad different. Okay, let's listen. All right, that's more subby. I like that, right? Export selected audio okay and we'll call that one seven okay now here's another thing uh let's scroll out let's get something a little thicker something here and we see down here that it's 1,034,992 let's change that to zero 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 and down here uh let's change the end, end point to 1,034,674 like we did before uh, let's clear this loop because I forgot to and let's reset it and listen Okay, that one's a little higher. Let's grab that. Okay, and export selected audio and We'll call that eight now. Here's another thing that we can do is we can Add some of these effects. Okay, so the effects in um, Audacity, they have their own LADSPA plugins, right? Linux-based plugins. And then they have all of my, my VSTs in here. But we can go in here, we'll go into EQ, and let's uh, do a low-pass filter. And let's set the frequency to 500 hertz. And we'll apply it. Now let's listen. I've taken a lot of that high off. I can use the effect and volume and compression and normalize it, right? So bring it up to, to negative one dB. Okay, and um, I'm going to export that as a um, export selected audio, and we'll call that number nine. And uh, then let's use the effects again. Let's put some uh, modulation on there. Let's put a, mm, well, special, let's see what's in here. Truncate silence, spectral tools, no delay and reverb. Let's add some reverb. Let's add a huge amount of reverb. Let's put the room size huge, uh, pre-delay up. Let's put the reverb amount at 100%. Let's uh, set the wet gain and stereo width. We don't need stereo width. Let's turn it all the way down. And let's see what happens. Apply, now let's listen again. It's giving it some more harmonics. I kind of like that. Let's, um, let's EQ again and um, Bass and treble. Let's turn the bass up. Apply. That's pretty odd. Okay, it's it's clipping. You see it clipping. Let's uh, affect it again. Let's uh, normalize it, which will bring it down a little. And let's export selected audio. Now all of that was unnecessary, okay, what I just did, but I definitely wanted you guys to see that you can use these various methods to get yourself some good results on, on in Audacity, okay? Now, let's go over to Ableton Live, which I have open already, and um, let's put ourselves um, in the instruments. Let's put a sampler which is how you use single cycle waveforms, whether in hardware or in software. And let's get a sampler, and let's um, let's make four copies of a sampler, and let's open up our. Um, let's see. Well, I guess we got to go to desktop, and we got to go to the metaforming pack. There it is. Let's open up the single cycle waves. Okay, I've already used some of these in here, but we just made six through 10. So let's put six on this guy. 
and then um, let's put seven on the next one over let's put eight here and let's put ten because we just made it on the fourth one okay now in here we need to turn looping on right and now let's play the keyboard okay it's a little quiet Let's go to filter and global section and turn up the volume a tad. Let's mess with the filter. Went down an octave. Uh, since this is going to be a bass line, let's write something in C minor. You can't hear the metronome probably in OBS, I'm not sure. Let's put some modulation on the filter. And let's go to the next one. Turn on loop. Let's go to the filter global section. Turn up the volume again. And let's, um, let's turn the release rate up. Let's turn the fil uh, filter frequency down again. Adjust the timing. Go to the next one. Turn on loop. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's turn the volume up again. Let's uh for this one, let's go to the pitch and oscillator section. Let's turn on one of the AM or FM oscillators. It's set to FM. Let's uh change the modulating tone to a square wave. Square wave six, and let's uh introduce some, some FM. Oh, so pretty. Let's give that one a tail. Let's hear some chords. All right, we turned it up a little, so now it's clipping just a tad. Really nice. Uh, let's try arpeggio. Pretty. Uh, let's go back to the metaforming pack and um, let's look in the breaks. Let's just add something random. All right, so there you have it. You can make some single cycle waveforms. If you want to grab this pack, or at least just check it out, again, go to the link in the description. It's at ghostwrittenclips.com. Also, um, you'll be able to load these single cycle waveforms into your ES2 or, or ESX or your Akai Force or any sampler Octatrack. They work so well in Octatrack and in, and in Digitact. Um, you can do lots and lots and lots with single cycle waveforms, and it just gives you literally thousands of options for synth sounds without taking up really any space at all. Everybody be blessed. Um, it's cold and rainy again in Albuquerque today. Mm, I can't get enough of this weather. <laughs>